All right. So we're dividing x plus 2 into x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. Okay? Uh, this is problem number 15. Okay? So, how do I turn an x into x cubed? x squared. x squared. So I put that in the x squared column. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Now look, I didn't put a plus here, right? Because I've learned, I learned from the last one, right, that I don't need to put a plus because I'm just going to change it, right? I'll put minuses because it's easy to change a minus to a plus, right? But to change a plus to a minus, then I have to have a plus minus in the way and it looks all garbage like. And So here I draw the line and I Change the sign, right? Okay. And then it's nice and neat. Adding these two, this negative, bam. This negative, bam. So I got nothing. Right? I got nothing. So, then I bring this down. Okay. And I bring this down. Because can I say anything in the x column and you know I don't know but I know one thing what times x is negative x ne yeah negative one that won't be in this x column will it <coughs> it's going to be in the one column right so negative one times x is negative x right and negative one times two is negative two right and then I draw the line and I change the signs, I add them up, and they cancel. Beautiful. This is the factor. These, this is a factor of this. Okay? This is a factor of this. And this is what it produces. That's all they're asking you. Is it a factor? Yes. What does it produce? This. If there's a remainder, it's not a factor. Does that make sense? If there's a remainder, it's not a factor. Okay? Now in the same aspect, what you're going to get to do is factor by grouping with this next week, right? Now, if you see this on the bottom, you might want to just do synthetic division, right? See if it's a factor. That's the beauty of it. Or, if this is a trinomial, you could factor this. Because the trinomial might not be a factor of this, right? But one of the factors of the trinomial might be a factor of this, right? So if, if you're having a hard time with factoring four pieces, which can be difficult, you can always break down a, a, another piece. Okay? That's why long division can be very helpful. Okay? So just to give you an understanding, what this is, is x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 over x plus 2. And I have to factor this. And you factor by grouping, you put a plus in the middle, and you group them up like this. Well, you want to keep that square in, in there, right? Okay, and you factor them up like this, and you go, okay, hey, how can I factor this? And what's upside down division, right? Upside down division, or in this way, right side up division, okay? But what goes into both of these? X squared, right? How many times? x and 2, correct? x plus 2. See how when I put a plus here, it made this minus? Well, what goes into both of these guys? What goes into a negative and a negative? Right? How about a negative? Right? And if you pull out a negative, what do you get? 
x plus 2. And so what you leave with is x squared times x plus 2 times. Now, here's the thing. Sorry, 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 sorry. Slow your roll down. Okay. So, the common factor between the two of them, right, is this. This is a little harder to understand, but this is what, what's going on. I get x squared times x plus 2 plus x plus 2 uh, times negative 1, right? Now, what's common between those, between these two? What's common? x plus 2, x plus 2, right? That's what's common, okay? So I would do, again, upside down division, I would pull out the x plus 2, and what am I left with? x squared minus 1. So what do I have? I have x plus 2 times x squared minus 1. I can still factor that, but I'll slow down for a second. All over x plus 2. And what happens? Pachawi. What am I left with? Pachawi. The same thing that it was. This is what we're doing next week. This is what you're doing now. Right? Cake. I can eat it all day. Yum, 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 yum. Alright? Now, we should know by now that this is actually x minus 1, x plus 1. But, how many of you did a lot of factoring back in Algebra 1? Exactly. So, I'm going to have to show you that difference of squares. We're going to have to do problems on difference of squares. Okay? We can five-step method it, but what you're going to learn here is you take the square root of this. Is this a perfect square? Yeah? X squared is a perfect square. Is 1 a perfect square? All right? 1 times 1 is 1. All right? So I take the square root of this, x, and the square root of this, 1, and I write the conjugate. All the conjugate is is the opposite of minus, plus. And it's really easy stuff. If I got x squared minus 9, what's the square root of 9? Square root of 9. 3. Minus x, what's the conjugate? That's it. This is not hard stuff. We'll learn it quickly. Okay? This is everything, but this <coughs> is what we'll be doing next week. This is what Christmas time is all about. Because <laughs> Christmas vacation, you'll be like, oh, thank goodness I'm getting out of this place because my head hurts. Because this will be the test before Christmas break. Okay?